<laughs> Film scene does not often uh, present the, the larger blockbusters. Um, we tend to go with more art house fare, but Joker actually has some real art house pedigree. It, premiered at the Venice Film Festival earlier this year, where it won the Golden Lion, which is like the biggest award that you can win at Venice. And we really look to all of the fall film festivals, Venice, Toronto, Telluride, to help program our fall and winter slate. When it started having all that film festival pedigree and getting accepted at film festivals and winning awards, it seemed like it was, it was more and more a right fit. When Joker was premiered at these various film festivals, critics immediately started to kind of talk about how it really paints a very grim portrait of a, a man and also of America. It's a fictionalized America. It's Gotham, but you know, it's a kind of gritty 1970s New York. Um, so critics were really recognizing that. And then shortly after, when more critics and more press people started seeing it, they were recognizing that it, it could potentially um, inspire some levels of violence. Uh, there's various people that disagree with that theory that no art really inspires violence. It's other things, environment, personal disposition, uh, upbringing, location that inspires violence, not art. It's rare that law enforcement is having a conversation about a film. Um, so that's sort of how the larger like snowballing of everybody talking about it began because it comes down to people's safety and their feelings of security in art spaces and movie theaters. The moment we confirmed that we would be playing Joker, we started talking about that right away uh, because it was being talked about a lot. Um, I had gone to the Toronto Film Festival earlier this month and I they premiered Joker and I saw a line of oh, 20, 30 clowns, guys dressed up as clowns. And, and so they were really leaning into the, celebrate, the celebration of sort of this character. Um, but, but we recognize that you know, it is a violent film and that critics were already starting, starting to talk about the violence in the film. So we talked about you know, how can we celebrate the film and how people are really anticipating it, including us, uh, but also make people feel safe. So we decided to do a single screening with, that allowed costumes um, and clowns and makeups and things like that. But then after that, for the two plus weeks that we showed the film, uh, we wouldn't allow any dress up. So that we, those folks who are big time fans who really want to come out and have a good night, they could find a place to do it, to do that and to dress up and get into the fun of it. But for the regular moviegoers, if they prefer to stay away from that kind of energy, that we would just do a no, no costume policy for the remaining of the, of the remainder of the run of the film. <laughs> <laughs>